up for the Boston Celtics, we got Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Scottie Pippen, Tim Duncan, and Kristaps Porzingis. And for the Sacramento Kings, uh, they have Michael Ray Richardson, Michael Red, Paul Pierce, Sean Kemp, and Alvin Adams. I don't know who the hell Alvin Adams is. He's going to get beat up. He's going to get beat up. You to the following presentation of the NBA. Bam, 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 bam. The Kings, as they came through the tunnel earlier on, all set to give their Sacramento fans something to cheer about. Thank you for tuning in this Sunday evening. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Duncan is out there with Porzingis. Then there's Pippen. Then it's Jordan. And it's Kobe in at the two-guard spot. And for the Kings, they've got Kemp. Michael Red is out there with Richardson. And it's Pierce. And it's Adams in at the center position. Well, we expect to see sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Jordan with it. Ooh, he tried stealing that immediately, huh? Duncan outside. It's Pippen on the wing. Pierce covering out to Porzingis. Misses on the right hand. All right. Richardson outside. He takes it in. Give me that. Porzingis with the block. Now Pippen. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. For Singus, down to five on the shot clock, and the layup good off the glass. That's two. That's two easy misses. Two easy shots that Porzingis has missed. Can't be doing that all game. No one can not be doing that all game. Richards in the pass to Red, and just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Adams finds Pierce. That one, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Got a mismatch somewhere. Here's Jordan. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Here's Duncan. Bank shot, no good. Early. I thought he was going to do the, uh, the hook, but decided to do the fadeaway. Here's Red. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. Two shots coming up. And Red. <laughs> who can just take over the game on his own. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And he knocks down the first one. No good Ooh, give on the that. second, so he hits one of two. For Boston, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Whoa, that's way off. The shot by Bryant, no good. Just All right, jump shots are uh, sort of a mess right now. Run of their first five shots. Oh, we got a guy open in the corner. Sinks the three pointer. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three point shot as a weapon. Now, Jordan. We saw him with 19 points his last out. Again, the miss by the Celtics. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very Shit. often. Here's Richardson. And slam dunk by Kemp. I went for the steal. Well, I tried to predict the steal. And I got a guy who was in the, in the first row. For him to go get. To the paint. And Kobe the bucket with the assist by Jordan. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just... Like All right, we got to focus up. Focus up. Got to get these easy jump shots. Now here's Jordan. 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 Now here's J
Here's Kemp. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start to the rest of the game. And now, the first time out call here for Boston. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. Well, Sacramento's head coach gave me a few minutes. He's looking forward to this first meeting between the teams and told this guy, this is a fantastic opportunity to show what we've got. Get out of here, that's bullshit. But we have to protect the rim at all costs, even if that allows them to get an open shot from time to time. Well, it's an interesting strategy, guys. We'll see if it works. I don't know you, what happened to that guy. I respect the size McGrady has, easily seen over the defense there. Wait, is there an invisible guy in the court? There is. You gotta be shitting me. Three and a half minutes uh, invisible guy on the court. Great. Grant with the ball. Kings moving the ball around. And stupid. Here's Van Horn. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now. He averages about nine points a game. Takes the three. The rebound by Brogdon. And close to making I can't tell that guy's open over there. For the lax coverage that time. The pass to McGrady. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. I mean, the two times I pass it to the guy that looked wide open, he seems to be wide open. From the outside. Passes to Henderson. Here's Van Horn. Back to Grant. Over McGrady. Ooh, McGrady was blocked. With another basket. He assists. Just reliable. Guys. Guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. So the Kings call timeout. Who's that guy? Looks like he's 12 years old. Coming after a loss against the Jets. Total embarrassment. I was shocked at how poorly they played. I think they were shocked. Well, we'll see how they respond. Well, still got an invisible guy on the court. It should tell us a lot about their character as a team. Capella. Uh, and I was sleeping on defense. Shot, the the line. Back to a cut. They get Marcus got Stanley. me. Second and one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always Two done. He plays to his strength. That's a great point, Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense but he really anchors a defense by not overextending two shots and that one misses and the defense capella provides is huge i mean a legitimate shot blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate and he sinks the second We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Brogdon against Williams. Pass to McGrady. Plenty of space. And it's held in by Clint Capella. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Grant. Now Henderson. Two on the clock, and that one is off. And still a close game. Even though they had an invisible player, so it's always like one, the, the same player is invisible all the time. Meaning, like that guy who's invisible is going to be invisible for the rest of the game. Unfortunate, unfortunate. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchup defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. The Kings trailed by three on the court for the Celtics. They've got Michael Jordan. Chris Depp Porzingis is up there with Duncan. And there's Bryant. Come on, Michael. Pippen, and it's the three. Here's Kemp. Good defense. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. 
Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. I passed it to the Duncan, not Pozingas. What was that? Reporter, David That's weird. Thanks very much. Now, Melvin is that just a really, really bad pass? No shot, right? You went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black and can't be both educated. Mind and Jeff, sports. what are these so releases, man? A chance for me to break not even mold. close with these releases right now. Thanks, DA. Now here's Pierce. Ooh, charge him ball. Ah. And Cody Bryant gets the whistle that time. First team foul. That is his first foul of the game. He didn't even jump. He just put his hand up. Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quickly. Oh, he did jump, I guess. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Order number two with just over a minute gone. Here's Richardson. Here's Adams. And for the teams that are struggling to meet expectations, Richard, what kind of advice would you give them at this point of the season? Well, Kev, it all depends on why they're struggling. If they're trying to integrate new pieces, you got to stay patient. If it's chemistry issues, though, that can get a bit more complicated. How would you handle chemistry issues when you play? Well, some things are just unavoidable. Some teams have great chemistry, and some teams are not so much. The Kings trail by three. And for three, first shot, first pass. He's out of the block ah. fast. That's a nice Shitty play. offense he leading to easy. Easy offense for them. And you know it takes skill for you to get your shot up over a bigger guy. Little giant killer. That's impressive stuff. Now, here's Pippen. He had 16 points in the game against the oh. Nuggets in this time. The motor of Bryant never first stops. Even time. inside where he first goes, team. right at the deep. The Celtics are shooting their first free throws of the game. Kobe Bryant. 74% tip in the mark on the season thus far. At least checked in for Przingis. And 74% free throw percentage should go up the rest of the season. I struggled with him early on. Just didn't understand his release. It's kind of slow. And so he hits both. For Sacramento, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And there's the pass to Adams. Kemp against Duncan. Left block shot on the way. Kemp's shot is off. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story. Ah, give me that. Here's the ah, steal. A little too much dribbling. Passes it to Richardson. Over Jordan. Rebounded by the Celtics. Duncan's got four rebounds now tonight. Pippen with a wide open look. Ooh, here we go. Good. Pippen in that corner is deadly, man. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He, he knows he just needs the ball. Deadly. And then he is good to go. The Kings trail by four. Cast to red. so far in the second quarter and here's Duncan he'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics in the second quarter they've given up just three points outside Kobe outside for Jordan but Trey it's held in by Michael Red's got his fourth rebound in this one I am struggling right now with jump shots. Struggling. With it, picked up by Kobe. And foul Second on the foul. shot, so he'll get a chance Michael to the line. Second person. And this is a guy, Sean Kemp, of all the talent in the world, could be a perennial double-double machine. Go just a matter of That's staying focused. Two. This is his first chance at the line tonight. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season. One word, solid. This game, so I should be up by like 10 easy right now if I'm I was hitting jumpers. I'm a sweaty. And 
and so Kent nails both of them. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Oh, invisible guy in there again. Simon. Five points in the game. Here's McGrady. And he's good on the three ball. McGrady's got six. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. The Kings trailed by This five. game is buggy, Boston man, because one. they had inbound the ball and they're showing replays. Now, here's Kemp. Over Van Carroll. Sacramento again missing. McGrady dishes to Van Carroll. What? And stolen by Williams. I, I have a feeling that invisible guy got a hand on them. Get a hand on the ball. From about 19 feet. Kemp kicks to Anderson. Back to Kemp. Kings moving the ball around. Lock at six. Van Horn, the pass to Williams. Shades over Isaac. Here's Kemp. And foul. Damn, the Kemp shot. is a beast on the boards. The free throw line. First personal foul. And it's going to be on Tracy McGrady. And with his natural strength, defending Kemp on the interior is always a challenge. All the defense can do there was foul. Ooh, that was and he ugly. can't get the first one. I don't even think he had one free throw before halftime, but he's making up for it here in the second. Austin making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. Yep, they still got an invisible guy There's in the 31 court. Thirty-one seconds left in the first half. Now the pass to Simon. Here's McGrady. And Ooh, he loses. Should have dunked that. Well, McGrady's got the lead up to six now for Boston. Anthony Simon. Like the size McGrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Brogdon. Fades and shoots. Ooh. And the shot goes down. Kemp's got five points in the quarter. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, Brock, did I see you? And so it's the Boston Celtics bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. Right back after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first, and they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. Taking a look at the Celtics, and Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? They've really established themselves in the glass. I love how the invisible guys invisible in the replay, too. <laughs> It's kind of funny. And Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? They have to start penetrating in the lane. A few high percentage shots could make a difference. Damn, look at that right defense, now, baby. Been on jumpers, and it's been too predictable. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Sean Kemp has done in this game. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Why is his old mouth open like that? And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. They've got Michael Red. Here's out there with Kemp. Then there's Richardson. And it's Adams. And it's the five down low. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Right against Kobe. He kicks it to Jordan. Just four to shoot. Goes up on the wing. 
It doesn't go for him. Uh, taking it the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. It's that like I don't know how to shoot with these guys, but I do. I practice jump shots with these guys all the time. The oh, shit. Oh, shit. It in. Jesus. And Kemp seems Talking to you good? Contact on the way up. <laughs> he just embraces mm. all types of challenges. Jordan against Richardson. Damn. And stolen by Richardson. I was even protecting the ball, too. I post Kemp. No. It's Give me that. by Porzingis. Porzingis has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Bryant. Here you go, Kobe. Kobe brings it in. You see the number of moves Kobe has more than capable of creating for himself with that hammer. The Kings trailed by seven. Outside Pierce. Camp against Duncan. Nice defense, inside. Duncan. Here's Richardson. The rebound by the Celtics. Persingas has got six rebounds in the game. This guy's got and some hands. Bold coming out of the break. Only being one of their first four shots to drop this half. Now pick it up. Michael Ray. When you think of backboard offenses in general, Gray, how critical that can be your movement to a team's success. Kevin, Kevin, unless you have incredible Michael isolation Jordan. scores. This guy covering Jordan's got some sneaky fingers. Then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. Grant, he's checked in for Sacramento. And both free throws, good for Jordan. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Richardson against Jordan. He got Pierce at power forward. Kicks to Adams. I don't know how smart that is. Pierce, Grant outside. Five on the clock. Knocked away. Richardson for three. And it's blocked by Jordan. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. To the inside. And it's Porzingis. Too small. Too small. By Jordan. They had a mismatch. They, had, they switched. Got a big mismatch. I was going to try to shoot it with them, but instead I, instead I took it down low. Two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Red. There's the dish to Pierce. Red passes to Grant. And here is Adams. Sacramento moving it around. Fires from the wing. Richardson, no luck. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their Two best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Now, here is Jordan. To the middle. Here's Duncan. And Duncan throws it down hard. Assisted. Coming off the pick. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan gets so much attention. Crosses the D up that time. We've got 148 left here in the third quarter. They've been looking at a sink offensively. I think it was a great yeah, idea putting him at point guard. He gets, I mean, obviously you sacrifice scoring, but they're just, just, just so many open, more open plays. Just gets so much attention. So both teams making some changes here. For your team's youth dance team. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the third. Here's for three. And they are struggling. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Oh, an invisible guy. I probably wasn't even open. Van Horn, the pass to Williams. Comes up empty down Man, they can't hit anything. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Brogdon outside. Anderson against McGrady. Pass to Kim. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by the Kings. It's Anderson on the wing. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Celtics leading by 13. And here is Brogdon. 
kicks to McGrady. And good. Hey. Assist by Brogdon. I don't know if he's open, but man, I'm, I've been hitting a lot of those greens with a, what, what, a, what looks like to be an open guy, but I don't know. Maybe it's just easy to shoot jump shots when you don't have a guy, like getting distracted by a guy, like closing out on you. Probably what it is. I'm hitting, I'm probably hitting greens in their face. Finish and stops an 11 0 run by the Celtics. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Brogdon with it. 11 seconds left in the third quarter. And they force the shot clock violation. Ah, uh, I didn't get it up in time. Take a second look to admire that outstanding. Come on. Come on. That is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Substituting on the Get that guy Henderson out of the game. He's invisible. With one on the clock. And no good that time. Anzo is the Boston Celtics. With a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Ferocious defense. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Porzingis is out there with Duncan. And there's Bryant. Then it's Pippen. And it's Jordan in at the one. Porzingis kicks to Pippen. Red. And Pippen gets it. They go to go. Pippen. They go Pippen. From the mid range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jump. Williams dishes to Richardson. Adams in the high post. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on for Zingas. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Alvin Adams. Taking two shots. Good Who the Alvin. hell is this guy? Alvin Adams. And so Adams nails both of them. Boston leading by 14. Deciding where to go with it. Just to Persingas. Duncan up on top. Persingas trying to get free. Shooting foul. Whoa, give that guy a tech. First team. A tremendous score. Showing up the ref. His hands. Duncan just too much for D to him. Tim Duncan. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings, j just incredible. Uh, he's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. Pierce has checked in for Sacramento. And so Duncan hits them both. I'm getting free throw percent. It must be pretty low. I really struggled with hitting, uh, hitting shots with him early in the season. Richardson kicks to Pierce. Adams in the high post. He's against Porzingis. Richardson finds Pierce. And Kemp now 
on top of the key. Jesus. Oh, the Damn. Man -child kept one of the most flamboyant finishers in our league. That was pretty good. A sensational block that definitely that was pretty good. deserves another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Now, here is Jordan. And the pass to Persingas. What? That felt pretty good. One for four. Come on, Porzingis. Get your shit together. Richardson attacking. He dishes it to Adams. Gotta watch Kemp on the back door shot here. Give me that. Ah! The Kings need to get off the Shit, that was my fault. He I went for the block. Adams has got four points now. I went for the block. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. That play is open way too often. They're just afraid of Porzingis hitting the three, so they play up on him, and then Porzingis goes right by him. He sends it to too slow. One shot. That free throw good from Porzingis. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He defies expectations. Impressive array of abilities. Now here's Kemp. Here's Adams. Give me that. Give me that. Re Adams what? Who is this bum? From put back dunks? Put back dunks? And that's his MLB physical. Get in position for the put back and throw it down. The defense guy knows that's what he's looking to do. And Boston has possession after the Kings pick up two. And here's Bryant for three. Ah, uh, he should have stood there. Bounds. Gotta follow your shot. Last touch by Bryant. The Kings trailed by 13. Timeout called by the Kings. We got called timeout. Down by 13. What are we doing? He's bringing the backups already. Present our new balance. Play the game. Crazy McGrady. Crazy McGrady. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything has been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. And at last, he gets a little redemption. You know, it's been several games since he's been at his best. He's really been having a tough time. Yeah, and now I've struggled with him this season. And get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, well, I was able to listen in with what the Kings head coach said to his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. Michael Red, is that his first shot up. attempt? You've got to get aggressive. Two minutes You've got to battle Two to get back in this thing. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Thanks, David. Oh, my Here's God, run the play. Jesus. Michael Red score. <sighs> Outside, Jordan. And shot opportunity and he gets it to go as they call the uh, I gotta get these releases down, man. That was an easy jumper with Jordan. I was way off. And Duncan, no good on that. The Kings trailed by 13. Here's Richardson, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting the jersey. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Second team. Say this about Richardson. He is a fearless player. There isn't an opponent who doesn't think he can dominate or, or situation he can't take charge of. There is no back down in Michael Ray. And the first one drops. That one misses. No, I couldn't hit them all, and they need every point they can get. Bam, bam. 
Pippen outside. Pippen ain't easy. Zingas high post. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Sometimes you gotta take it to the hole. Take it strong. It's almost impossible to guard, especially when he's focusing on trying to score. Zingas. First one falls for him. Both free throws, good for Porzingis. As you go back and look at the last few seasons, RJ, it, it seems like team success has largely been predicated on health. Do you feel like that has always been the case? I don't Second remember style. there being as many injuries <laughs> early in my career. Even guys that were playing all 82 Third games, but you're right. Recently, we've seen a lot of knee injuries, and look, this is my theory. Before, players used to get away from the game a little bit, take a couple of months off. Now, players are staying Man, in shape 24-7, like they never take a break, and I think that's why we might be seeing players break down a little bit more. Yes or no answer? Too many games at 82 in the regular season? Less than them. Don't you ask me that question. Give me 82. <laughs> I'd rather you bump it to 83 just to remove all doubt. <laughs> And the second free throw, good. I think Burns some Jordan's been pretty quiet this game. And get a little breather as well. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Celtics. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't got too many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And here's Richardson following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. Oh, I thought Pippen had that rebound. Oh, he's got it now. Why they hold the lead. They're limiting the offensive possessions for the other team. Tough to win with no extra possessions. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Ooh. Pippen loses. Oh, I, I thought Pippen had that. And here's against oh, Jordan. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, Richardson. I see you. Take it easy. Take it easy. 12 seconds left in the game. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Launches a three. That shot misses. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. That's the end of the game. Solid win on Access the to the wrong guy. Out. When I burned Jordan like that, I mean, when I Jordan burned that dude, I meant to throw it to the guy in the corner, but I threw it to the opposite to corner. Take the crowd out of it. I can't pass it. We'll get you in trouble sometimes. But that's another one. 15 and 4. And that's going to do it. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. See you next time.